Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and today I want to talk about a really underutilized method of climate control for our buildings that is essentially free. Now this is something that we're all essentially familiar with at our homes or at our work where we open the windows up say in summer when it's cooler outside than it is inside the building. You know, it might be 30 degrees inside but only 26 degrees outside and there might be a slight breeze. And so we can flush basically all of that heat out of the building just by opening a few windows. And the same is actually true even in winter where sometimes it is actually warmer outside than it is inside our buildings and especially during autumn and spring. So ventilation is not only a great way of cooling down our buildings but also potentially warming them up. Now we're all used to obviously opening and closing windows but we can't do this as effectively and efficiently as we should. Say we can't ventilate the house when we're not home to you know, open up the windows when we're coming home from work to you know, exhaust all of the hot air that's accumulated during the day. We can't do that because we're not at home yet. Uh, you, know, you can't do this automatically at work because you're focused on your work and you're not thinking about what well, we should, you know, we should be opening the windows right now or oh, no, it's getting warmer outside, so we should close, close the windows. The fantastic thing about ventilation is that you can automate it and you can make it automatically work to your advantage. So let's say in summer it is warmer inside than it is outside in summer. So in, instead of you having to go outside and check what the temperature is and you know then open windows and then remember to close them later on when, it, when you're supposed to. So a good ventilation system of course measures the internal temperatures and also the external temperatures so it knows when it should be turning on, what it should be doing. And you can ventilate your spaces either through motorized windows, through motorized louvers, or a mechanical ventilation system where you have air being sucked out of the rooms on purpose and air also being fed back in. So you can also combine this with your air conditioning system where a bit of fresh air is automatically added into your air conditioning system so you always have a fresh supply of air or you can make it more complicated or you know sophisticated where you introduce fresh air only when it's required so you don't introduce say hot air from outside if it's you know not going to work to your advantage. And there are also heat exchange ventilation systems where you can expel stale air from the building without losing the energy. So let's say you've cooled the inside of the building down but you actually want some fresh air in the building. You can expel some air, intake some fresh air and you can exchange the energy so, so it comes out at a very, very similar temperature as what you expelled it. So you're not actually you know, just losing energy that you've already paid for to say cool down the building. So you can not only have this fantastic free heating or cooling through the ventilation, but you can also dramatically improve the indoor air quality through the ventilation. And what we mean by this is, obviously you would know, you know, you're in a car, for example, and it's stuffy in the car. So you open the windows and immediately you feel better. And you've probably experienced the same at work or at your house. And so you can either do this manually, of course, or you can automate it. And so a way we automate it is we have carbon dioxide sensors around the building. And this is one of the main determinants of poor air quality if the carbon dioxide levels are too high. And so we can monitor this and as soon as the carbon dioxide level is too high, we can either purge the air or start introducing fresh air, introduce it via the air conditioning system or just a standalone ventilation system, whatever it may be. But the trick is to automate it all so that you can have, so you can take advantage of the free heating or cooling when, you, when it's possible, when you can, and also to maintain and improve the air quality whenever you can, so you don't have to think about it. And this way, you create environments that are you know, more enjoyable to live in and to work in. So if you would like help with designing and installing a ventilation system for your building, be it mainly for free heating and cooling, or to maintain the indoor air quality so that it always feels fresh and nice, give us a call at Euroheat. We'd love to sit down, have a look at your plans and have a look at your building and see what we can come up with together.